right, so let's do some multiplication facts. So I have three times four. Anybody has the answer? Three times four. Cullen, what you have? Twelve. Twelve. Five times two. Five times two. Bailey? Ten. Ten. Yes, ma'am. Okay. One hundred times nine. One hundred times nine. Josiah? Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Two thousand times zero. Two thousand times zero. Jordan? Um, zero. Zero. Remember, anything times zero is always zero. Eight times five. Eight times five. Jasmine? Eight times five equals one So it's just like counting by fives eight times. Forty. Forty. Yes, six times. I'm sorry, three times six. Three times six. Like the, yeah, eighteen. Next one, 100 times 2. 100 times 2. Cadence? 200 and then 9 times 1. 9 times 1. Chess? 9. Yes, anything that's times 1 is always the number. Always. Okay, let's talk about an array. So look at my shape here. What number would go here? What's my number right here? Let's see who remembers what an array is. Yes, four. And then what number goes up here? Two. So what would be my array? Two. Uh-uh. Four, yes. Four times two equals eight. Four times two equals eight. That's the array. Remember, to read an array, you always put how many rows you have on the side and how many rows on top. Multiply it. That's your answer. Four times two is eight. Okay, next one here. What would be the answer for this one? Number that goes here. Three. Three. And number that goes above. Four. Four. What's the array? Three times four equals twelve. Wow. Yeah, three three plus four equals seven, but three times four equals twelve, and that's how many squares you have total inside. That's also how we figure out the area as well. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and practice some coins. So that's why you needed a little sleep paper. We'll go ahead and go over some coins. Seven dimes, eight nickels. Remember, a dime is ten cents. A nickel is five. Dollar and ten cents. One dollar and ten cents. So you have your seven dimes or seventy. So then your eight nickels. So 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, a dollar, a dollar five, a dollar ten. Okay? Three quarters, one nickel, and two pennies. Alright, so the answer is eighty-two cents. Okay, so your three quarters were 75, then your one nickel was 80, and then 81, 82. 82 cents. Four dimes, so four, four, and four. So dimes are tens, nickels are fives, pennies are ones. The answer is 64 cents. So four dimes is 40. Then with your four nickels, 45, 50, 55, 60, and then your four pennies made it 64 cents. There you go. All right, good. All right, let's go ahead and practice a little bit of time. So remember, we have a long hand, which is the minutes, and a short hand, which is the hour, okay? So you have your minute hand, hour hand. Your hour, you just say whatever number it's on. You just say it by the one. Minute, that's when we count by fives. We always start by fives with the one and we work our way around. Okay? So let me go ahead and put a time. Yeah, that's my favorite one. Okay, what time is it now? 3.35. 3.35. So if I am just getting off of school, will that be a.m. or p.m.? P.m., afternoon. Okay, good. Next one. What's my time? It's 
9.55. Yes, so if we are, we just ate breakfast, would it be a.m. or p.m.? A.m. A.m. Morning, okay, one more. Okay, what's my time? Yeah, 12.20. It's 12.20. Good, thank you. All right, awesome. Okay, all right, so that is it for math.